Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Looking at PCLN, NVDA, Tesla, Netflix, and CMG. So PCLN, still pretty tight. We had a bear reaction to EXPE earnings in the same sector after hours, and PCLN did drop. The ask was 1910. So we'll see how much of an effect that has tomorrow, but definitely some bearish sentiment in the short term because of that correlation that is favoring the bears due to that reaction. So if we do see a drop, we're looking down at 1913 support, 1908. And if we break 1908, that is a significant break as that's the lowest price we've seen in three weeks. And that's the only support that we have here that we have established after this really strong seven day bull breakout. We went from 1806 to 1940, $140 move, and only establish that support at 1908. So if that level does break, we know the bears are back in control of the short term, and they have a decent amount of momentum in the sense that we don't have a lot of support established in that area if 1908 breaks. Our, or the weekly time frame, bearish doji pulling back from that doji, and we're going to have less of a lower wick depending on how tomorrow goes, but if it does end bearish, then it will be a bearish reversal confirmation candlestick that will have us looking down to the middle Bollinger Band to be tested next week. NVDA, inside bar on the daily time frame with the bulls closing with momentum in their favor. So resistance is 196.16 for the bulls to break the inside bar bullish. And support is 193.81 for a bear break of the inside bar. Healthy consolidation still overall, the weekly time frame. You can see it's almost a little bull flag of consolidation. Very little pullback, very contained exponential support still holding and there's no red flags unless we see a break of 191.17 which we are currently well above tesla on the daily time frame a bit of a double bottom 323.56 323.20 so a lower low by less than 50 cents and a high of resistance 330.23 so where we stand on tesla we are due for a short-term oversold bounce but we will be looking for a bearish entry opportunity in the mid $300 range. Once we do let a bit of a bounce play out, the bears have taken control of this daily time frame, and we're looking for this lower high and lower low pattern to continue for a bit. The weekly time frame lost support. We are at the lowest prices we've seen in a couple of months. 311.22 is the next support that stands out after the low of this week. Netflix on the daily time frame, still higher lows and higher highs but not really seeing much follow through. We have an upper wick of profit taking. We saw a lot of profit taking yesterday as well. And as long as the daily middle Bollinger Band holds, the bulls are still in full control, but we can be scouting for a potential break and a loss of that middle Bollinger Band for some weakness and some bear signals. Now we have earnings for Google and Amazon after hours, which was bullish. And we saw the tech sector overall reacting. We saw Facebook up after hours because of it. Apple, not so much, but it was a little bit bullish. Netflix didn't really see any reaction. And again, that's because earnings have already happened and there's not a short-term catalyst for these bulls to look forward to like there is on Facebook and names that have not given their earnings yet. So that is a factor. And we're watching Middle Bollinger Band daily support. Weekly time frame is still healthy, however. We have the exponential supports holding, bulls still in full control. So we have to keep the longer-term trend in mind because there is no changing this long-term bull trend unless we break 176.55, which is a very long way away from occurring, and the bulls don't have any concern for that at this point. CMG on the daily time frame, big bullish reversal candlestick with a strong close at the high of the day. Resistance is going to be 282.66 and 283.99. If we break 283.99, we are filling the gap back to the upside with a lack of resistance in the immediate future. And same thing, we're looking bullish short term, but we can be scouting for a bearish entry once we hit the upper 200 level, perhaps 300 psychological, We'll see once the bulls tire out on this bounce, but right now we are looking for bullish reversal confirmation with a green candlestick tomorrow trying to follow through on this bounce and ideally break 284 first thing in the morning to have the bulls with some confidence for the rest of the trading day. Weekly chart is still all bare with lower highs and lower lows. Weekly chart RSI is back to oversold. So again, keeping all of that in mind, we are fighting against the trend on this oversold bounce, but the hourly was extremely oversold and it is beginning to play out a little bit more significantly. So that's what we've got as we head into the weekend. We will see you soon. Have a great night.